Snapmaker just raised over $10 million in just a few days on a Kickstarter campaign showing off their newest 3D printer with a 4-head tool changer. The campaign broke records and went so well that it prompted both Bumble Up and Prusa to respond with teasers of their solutions to wasteless, multicolor printing. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about Snapmaker U1, a 3D printer that might just have started a revolution in multicolor 3D printing. It just got released on a Kickstarter campaign and just in one day raised over $6 million. But why is there so much interest in this particular printer? Well, that's because Snapmaker with the U1 promises not only faster multicolor 3D printing, but also hugely reduced filament waste. Their solution is what it's called a tool changer. What that means is that each of the filaments have their own designated tool head. There's a light head carriage that picks up only the tool head that it currently needs for printing. This makes the filament changes way quicker. Snapmaker promises that each of the change takes around five seconds. The printer also has their version of AMS, which in this case is called automatic filament system, and it can hold up up to four spools of filament, two on each side of the printer. To me, the printer kind of looks like a child of uh, Bumble Up X1 Carbon and Prusa XL. As you can see, the printer has this semi-closed build because it's open from the top. That's because of the tubes that are sticking out of the tool heads. Snapmaker promises though that there will be a lid available to enable printing more temperature dependent filaments. The big interest in this printer on the Kickstarter campaign probably comes also from the price that Snapmaker offers for this machine, which for an early bird is less than $700 and the future MSRP is going to be $1000, which compared to Prusa XL is just crazy, crazy price. I am super interested in this printer, I pledged for mine and I cannot wait for it to come so I can start printing. The timeline in the campaign says that the first batches will ship in October, I really hope I'm one of the first ones that's gonna get it. But as I said at the beginning, the huge success of this campaign prompted both Bumble Up and Prusa to kind of tease what they're working on when it comes to faster multicolor 3D printing and wasting less filament. Bumble Up actually just a few days ago released their newest 3D printer H2S which is basically an H2D 3D printer with a single nozzle. There are of course more changes, but in short, this is a big 3D printer that everyone was waiting for. And just like H2D, you can get it with a laser. What surprised everyone though, was the video that Bumble Up released just minutes after releasing the H2S. In that video, they showed their solution to faster multi-material slash color 3D printing with less filament waste. And the video showcased their hot end change system called Vortec. According to them, the most material is being wasted because of what stays in the hot end. Not only you have to extrude whatever is left there from the previous filament, but also you have to push the new filament to get rid of the previous color or material that was stuck in the hot end. So their solution is just to change the hot end itself. This system uses wireless communication with the hot ends and induction heating of it, which can heat up in around eight seconds. How much would that be for the full color change? I don't know, but I'm guessing between eight and 10 seconds per color or material. They will release this system in a completely new product called H2C, and according to them, they are confident that it will be available before end of this year. What they also said is that there will be an upgrade option to H2C if you already own H2D or H2S. I have to say that the system looks super complicated. I do wonder how it's gonna perform in the long term. What they claim is that it's gonna be super reliable, but we'll see, I guess. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Prusa also teased something, but there's very little information coming from them. Basically, it's just a picture shared on Twitter by Joseph Prusa showing what looks like some kind of tool changer or other system for multi-material printing. But that's basically all we know. But it's interesting that both Prusa and Bamboo Lab are showing this now when Snapmaker is raising so much money on Kickstarter. In my opinion, this will be a start of revolution in 3D printing that will change how we handle multicolor and multi-material 3D printing in the future. But I guess we'll have to see how it works out. Either way, I'm super excited for all three filament systems. I would like to get my hands on, on all of them and test them, but we'll see how that goes. This is all I wanted to talk about in this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Snapmaker U1 and what Bumble Up just teased. Do you think they had this planned all along or did they just release this information now because of the success of the Snapmaker? In my opinion, it's a bit coincidental that only now they're, they're talking about it, but that's just my opinion. Either way, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe. 
here are some other videos from my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next one.